All right, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. So this is a little bit out of the ordinary from what I work on. I mean, I feel like I've been saying that kind of a lot lately because I've had some cool, you know, unique cars lately and, you know, projects to work on in general. But this one is kind of different. Let's go over it. And as many of you have requested in, you know, some of the more recent videos since the, the beat stuff, we got Corey back here and uh, having him help me out on this job too. So basically what we got going on here, let me kind of turn you guys to the right. Uh, this obviously is a Volkswagen Beetle-ish. It's a 1964 and this one has happened to, you know, be chopped up and they put like a fiberglass, you know, shell thing on it. And now it's here for us to build some sort of bed to it. So we've kind of been playing with some ideas, you know, I'm not going to kind of spoil the whole thing. I mean, you can only, you know, make a truck bed so many ways, but we're going to give our hand at it and hopefully it turns out pretty cool. And then the only other thing that we're doing is, you know, making like a little sheet metal firewall here in the back, which is what he's getting measurements for right now. And there's some little, you know, gashes in these side panels where the previous owner, for whatever reason, had two by fours cut and bolted in. And I'm just going to like weld those up. So I'm going to start working on that so that way we can get all that stuff taken care of while he's, you know, making templates and stuff. But yeah, this is hopefully probably going to be a two or three part video series. But yeah, we're going to have some fun and... You know, it's going to be a, one of those uh, later videos. It's 5 in the evening right now. Corey's got other stuff going on. So we're, uh, we're doing the night shift tonight. So, yeah, stay tuned. In reference to what I was just talking about, this is what I was talking about. So for whatever reason, the previous owner before these guys got it had a 2x4 bolted straight across. And they have that incision there and the cut there and then right here. So I'm going to try and straighten that up. And then one more on the other side in the same manner as this one. So... That should be pretty easy. I'm gonna just go clean that up and then get some pliers and my hammer. I got a hammer and dolly set for doing like body work and then just probably use a MIG welder. It is pretty thin sheet metal, so you know, obviously run the risk of burning through pretty easy, but I've done plenty of this stuff before with engine bays. We should be all right. And then, yeah, this is kind of what Corey's working on using some cardboard templates. And then uh, essentially, yeah, we're closing this off, making kind of like a bolt in panel because it's gonna get molded when the, you know, it goes to paint and body and stuff. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning stuff up and we'll, uh, yeah, we'll get started on this thing. <laughs> Did I pull it out a little bit? It looks like a little. That's just that one. Where's a pain. the hammer dolly now? You have a yeah. Here's the hammer. Yeah, she's on there, bud. Dude, no doubt. Got the parts all prepped. I mean, it's gonna be kind of a pain because how thin it is. And you know, Corey's got the first part of his template done, and we're just you know trying to you know brainstorm a little bit more. But we're steady moving, and we've only been at this for like 20 minutes now, so. That's a cute little haircut you got there, looking kind of like Sid from uh, Toy Story. <laughs> Thanks, dude. That's exactly what I'm working on, dude. Yeah. Bandsaw's not doing the bandsaw thing. Are you sure, or is it you just not doing the bandsaw thing? I <laughs> hey, dude, two minds can't think alike all the time, you know what I mean? We're getting there, we're doing it. Things are moving slow. It's first day, you know, first day, first day kind of jitters. Something like that. Yeah, dude, we'll go yeah, with so that. I got this all patched up right there. I went to go start working on this, but we had that light working for like literally half a second, and now it doesn't want to work, so I don't know what's up with that. But So we pushed the, the thing over here. And this boy is moving everything around, getting all lost. But yeah, we're, we're doing good progress. He's about to start bending the little the main tube. And I'm going to keep patching these guys up.
Got this side all patched up now too, so now it's ready for you know the body guy or whoever's doing the body work to do their thing. So he's got the one angle bent, and uh, yeah, he's just working on this other side. It's a pretty peaceful night out here, don't you think, man? Oh, I agree. Well, I that's agree. cheeky. I never would have thought of that before. Yeah, I take the difference between the two bends, but I always, I don't know if I'm right or if I'm wrong. It's always worked for me. I always match the angle of like what my level is going to be at on the actual die itself. So kind of just match it to where it's parallel and it says 0.3 here and then come over here and it's 0.1. It started at 0.3, but it's like dead nuts now. So I might just mess with it a little bit. Point 0.1, 0.2, you're never going to see it. You lay it flat on the ground, it doesn't rock. It's pretty flat and parallel, but we're getting there, bud. <laughs> So there's the hoop. We're just gonna chop it down uh, to where we need it height-wise. But yeah, this boy got that right on the money in each side. So I'm, you just see me tack in these plates. I'm gonna go through and weld these in, and then we're gonna do you know just smaller plates like that down there. Because if you guys didn't know, you can't just weld this big old thick tube to that tiny sheet. Well, I mean to be fair, that's frame rail. But you need to have plate as an attachment point because um, then you're spreading like the surface area out. If that makes sense. But yeah, this thing's looking minty. Just need to chop it down and should be looking good. I'm gonna add a brace in between and weld that outside of the car just cause, outside of the truck, cause it'll make it a lot easier on us. But other than that, it's ready to slap in, get those base plates going. Now that we got that, before we weld this in, we're gonna situate the firewall situation. And we're probably gonna space it back just a hair so that we can actually detach the firewall panels that we're gonna make yeah. uh, just in the future or whatever. You can slip them right behind here kind of get a sneak peek of what we got going on there. This boy's yeah. trying one of those uh, Facebook, like, you know, the, the welding hack. The crafty pan. Yeah, the craft videos or whatever. So he's got <laughs> this, uh, what is it, three by one square stock or whatever. Yeah. And he's doing one of the tricks. So instead of welding a plate to the end to cap it, you just cut the edges off of it and then you fold it over on itself. Dude, we're trying it out. <laughs> we'll let you know how it goes. Yeah, I guess we'll see here in a second. You want, well, the vice, vice is right here, yeah. Vice. Well, well, you guys gotta move. I thought I was good enough so that I didn't <laughs> need a vice. Woo. The purse almost went flying. Yeah, right? We're gonna do it this way just to so get it closer. Yo, a hot dog. A hot dog, dude. Yeah, buddy. And then you just tig around the edge. I mean, you can make it if you want to use like the videos. And Check it, it out. <laughs> Let's try and get it to focus. Yeah. That's oh. looking minty, bud. There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, Crafty that panda. Yeah, that works mint. <laughs> so, place. I'm going to finish well those in really quick. We just made a drink run. Um, yeah, that's good. So that's going to be kind of like the T-bar, per se, for the sheet metal, like we explained earlier. Have that coming up the middle, and then two pieces coming to attach to it, since we couldn't get one super long one. So that'll make it easy and clean. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go finish one of these plates in really quick, and we'll see you in a minute.
Oh, I just want to keep going. It's fun to watch Corey work in here because at his home garage, he doesn't have a lot of the luxury tools, quote unquote, like, you know, a lot of the power tools and stuff like that, or the tubing notch. He does everything by hand, like, by hand. So, watching him work in here with the nicer tools is that I think are like mid grade tools is pretty funny because he's like, he gets all excited about every little thing. <laughs> Dude, it's insane. It's like all the tools are like, just scratching your nuts and like freaking helping you out, just like patting you on the back, helping you well, out throughout yeah. the whole process. I mean, for me, I, anytime I know a tool is going to help me just a little bit, if I've needed to use it like at least twice, I just buy it. Like, this thing? Oh no, that was my favorite purchase. This thing is insane. Yeah. I couldn't even imagine. I've literally looked into the, it's the right angle die grinder, yeah. right? Dude, this thing literally, you prep material in minutes. You, yeah. You grind your tungsten. Like, yeah. And the prep work on like chassis stuff, being that it's battery powered. Oh yeah, no, it, it fits everywhere. I want to get the top straight tier. one too, but that one's the straight one's more pricey than that one. That yeah. one was like one. But the right angle's nice. No, it's nice, but nice. sometimes like in the corners on that one, I was prepping. I needed the straight. straight. One. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, that's one of my favorite tools. So For yeah, sure. Mine too. the right angle die grinder, absolute money, and it takes like. 15 20 seconds to change the bit on it yeah. and i use that for material prep on everything from the beetle behind us all my exhaust work you know polishing up my name tags everything it's so useful but yeah so we've made really good progress so far so basically uh he's working on finishing well he just notched the tubes that are going to go in the little main hoop thing i got the plates welded in the back i got the front area prepped so i'm going to cut some square plates to go in the front now and then yeah i mean we're we're moving along pretty dang quick, way faster than I thought. I mean, I knew it was gonna be a quicker job than the beat was, but I mean, both of us are just grooving. I've got like some 2010 dance playlist going for like a Vici on here. We got, I don't know, we just chilling. It's We're just <laughs> mad chilling, mad, yeah. mad chilling, nothing but good vibes. Yeah, and there's no good. distractions since it's, you know, eight o'clock at night, nobody else is here. We're just partying, so. <laughs> This boy, instead of just clearing off the table, he decided to just loot dude all up on the ground. Dude, I'm used to working out of a garage. This is more space. This is <laughs> what I regularly do. Yeah, so we're just going to be taking this stuff up instead of making it because, you know, why not? The guy's paying good money for it, and we're burning through this stuff, so we're going to give him extra nice quality. Yeah, it's actually going pretty well. If I could pick this up. <laughs> That's the biggest struggle. Trying there to pick up the filler out with gloves on. Uh-huh. We're looking tasty, oh my. Got the pedal backwards, so let's see how that goes. Oh, pedal backwards is a weird. <laughs> Not too shabby. Oh, looking pretty good, and just so it looks like, you know, I'm actually doing something, because I am, I just happen to be <laughs> the guy behind the camera as well. I got the plates all cut for the uh, front part of that, what he's building right now so we can mount that in the car. And I was just about to actually mark out and start tacking those in with the MIG welder. I am working. Again, I'm doing a two-man job here and I just like doing the filming stuff too, so. 100% <laughs> you're working, Chris, dude. I'm sure some people are like, you do, man. Yeah, do you, he's probably like, oh, he's having Corey do all the work. No, dude, it's that's like, funny, because no. dude. People don't realize it only takes me two shit. minutes to pick up the camera. <laughs> yeah, <I just laughs> no doubt, dude. Honestly, you make it seem way easier than what I actually expected a uh, YouTube YouTuber to have to go through. Like, it seems like it's just so second nature. You just walk up, grab the camera, explain what we did real quick, and then you're on to the next thing. So, well, it's because when you don't, working. yeah, working. when you don't have somebody else to film for you, you kind of got to, you know, learn to be quick on the fly. So, I may not be as artsy as, say, gears and gasoline, but I make do. So, now I'm gonna go work. I'm gonna go put these plates in.
see what we got cooking, huh, bud? We got some good stuff going, I'll tell you what. This stuff's fitting pretty money. Go over to center with that one. Take this one to center. It's still gotta be burned and everything, but I mean, that's tight fitment. This is as tight as you're ever gonna get it. We're gonna take it together and it's gonna look money. All right, so Corey's working on the last bits of the tube because we're basically like, we're both kind of stoked on tonight. Like it's, so it's only 9.30, well already 9.30 right now, but like time is fine, but we're having so much fun doing this. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys like right now I'm working on, we're splitting this thing in half. So I'm welding the front half, he's welding the back half. And he tacked it together and I just went through and like, my welds right now, like I'm not trying to like toot my own horn, but I just want to say how proud of myself I am right now because these are some damn good looking welds. Like I never get to weld on stuff this thick cause I do so much exhaust work. Well, I should say I never get to TIG on stuff this thick. So like, I don't know. I'm just hyped on myself tonight. We're both just, we're both having just hyped. Time, <laughs> yeah, we're having we're a good old time. Solid. Everything's coming together. It's actually flying together. Got like the two rear tubes going to the rear end. Um, we got the cross member cut. We're waiting on that to get TIG welded. I'm just cutting up stuff while he's doing the front half. I will do the back half. And then after that's welded, these are done. We're going to cut the firewall, make that. It's flying together. It's crazy. What are you guys saying? Do you think Corey's going to be able to, to stand up to, to my welds with his? We'll see here in probably about 15 minutes, I suppose. Boy's working hard already. <laughs> Leave me alone, bud. They're not as good as yours, all right? Why don't you spin this thing around so you're more comfortable? Because I'm testing myself. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't think about it. I thought this was the best I had. <laughs> All right, guys. It is time to wrap it up for the night. Corey just took off. It is just about midnight. We've been here for about seven hours now. We got some good progress made on the car, and we're, we just had a good time. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to let me know in the comments down below if you ever feel like you want to support the channel further besides liking, commenting, and subscribing. By all means, you can, and I have a uh, big cartel where you can find some of my merch as well as my metal products that I have at the moment, and at least until I build my website. Hopefully later this year or something. We'll see. But anyways, uh, I also have Vivid Racing and Amazon affiliate links. You can buy things from them using those links, and it kicks me back a couple of bucks, and, you know, every penny counts in this day and age. So thank you guys very much for spending some time out of your day here with me and Corey. And, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, do what you love. Forget the rest, and uh, yeah, enjoy your night. See you in the next one. Peace out.